of those puppy pictures. Of course, we had our weather dog on the news this morning between 6.30 and 7 o'clock, like we do every Friday morning. The weather's been great so far today. The humidity has decreased. You see that brighter blue kind of taken over in our time lapse from RDU with some fair weather clouds bubbling up during the late morning and now early afternoon hours. Temperatures have warmed up to around 80 degrees. In fact, we're right at 80 degrees at the airport. We're going to see a mix of clouds and sunshine for the rest of the afternoon, but there's that flag really standing out. It's breezy out there. The winds out of the northwest helping to deliver the lower humidity to us and also keeping temperatures from warming up as much. Still warm for this first day of summer. We're a whopping 25 minutes into summer at this point, but we're going to be a little bit below average for our high temperatures. 82 degrees right now in Goldsboro, looking good on Center Street, right at 80 in the Triangle. Mid to upper 80s around Cumberland County, so you're still kind of waiting on that better air to make its way towards you, but it is moving in, and so you're going to feel a drop in the humidity, even in our southernmost counties as we head into the afternoon. It's 87 though in Fayetteville and already close to 90, 89 in Grays Creek. You'll stay around 90 for high temperatures in our southern counties, mid 80s for the Triangle, low 80s along the Virginia state line. As we head through the day tomorrow, our temperatures will warm up too. Let's track the temperatures over the next 24 hours. We'll cool off this evening. Actually be a pretty nice evening with that lower humidity air. Temperatures dropping to the 70s and down into the low to mid 60s in most locations by early tomorrow morning. We warm up, but slowly because there's going to be some cloud cover, even some showers early in the day. We'll track those with Futurecast in just a second. Mid to upper 70s by noon, low 80s farther south and only mid 80s again for high temperatures while we're in a break from the showers and thunderstorms. So it's not going to be a complete washout tomorrow. Those storms are coming at us from really far away. They are way out to our west. We're tracking that system of thunderstorms that's even producing a tornado warning just to the northeast of St. Louis here in western Illinois. All this yeah, these are the storms that are eventually going to try to make a run towards us. So let's switch from the current radar over to the future radar. And future cast has a pretty good handle on where the storms are right now. We'll track them as they cross the Tennessee River through the, excuse me, across the Ohio River, through the Tennessee River Valley, into the mountains of western North Carolina, and into central North Carolina by early tomorrow morning as some lingering showers. Maybe a rumble of thunder, but certainly not the powerful storms that are rolling through Missouri and Illinois right now. And these will continue falling apart as they move through. It's not going to be an all-day washout. Plenty of dry hours from mid-morning into early afternoon and even into the evening hours. We're going to have to watch a couple more complexes of storms. One misses us down to the south, but then some more scattered storms by as early as later tomorrow afternoon, more likely tomorrow evening. The timing there helps us out because after the sun goes down, the atmosphere is quite a bit more stable. It's not as likely those storms will become any stronger than the marginal risk of severe weather that we have on the map for tomorrow to begin with. Mainly in our southwestern counties, this is level one out of five. This is not nearly the threat level that we had with those storms yesterday. Yesterday, so we don't expect a repeat scenario. I'm here filling in for Bill Ray tomorrow evening, so I'll be tracking those storms as they redevelop. Again, it's not an all-day washout, so really about a 50-50 chance as we head through Saturday. Slightly lower chance on Sunday, but some of those showers could still be lingering out there to start the day. And then our rain chances diminish. Our temperatures do the opposite as we head into next week. Low to mid-90s, heat indices near 100 degrees. If you step outside this afternoon and think, boy, it doesn't feel like the first day of summer, wait about 72 hours, because Monday we're going to be up to around 90 already by this time of the day.